Good evening, New Tech Seattle. I'm George Koscheski, also known as G3. And I'm Anatoly Al, also known as A2. And we're from Jumpstart CSR, a biotech startup focused on improving healthcare, uh, improving the human condition, environment, and performance through the product lifecycle. Uh, so as you can see, over half of Americans are affected by musculoskeletal disorders. Um, and that represents 16% of healthcare costs, and every 29% of ER visits are uh, foot-related. Uh, and as you can see, this can affect anybody. It can affect soldiers, athletes, individuals, the elderly, um, even people in the audience. That's a lot of people. But what if I told you that we can fix that problem? What if we could fix this problem with the snap of our fingers like magical powers? But magic isn't real. Well, I mean, I'm not talking about the Harry Potter kind of magic. I'm talking about the magic that is science that we can't explain yet. We have something called intelligent digital materialization, which is something we're working on. Um, that is kind of like magic. I can explain how it works. Um, there are kind of four things that make up IDM. Um, first, we talk, uh, first, we take in analog or digital data, which then we analyze, then create that into personalized insights. From then, those insights will become a product um, based off a generative design process. And then from there, we'll take the product and then print it uh, basically from the nearest compatible 3D printer. So it, that means we don't have to make things in small, medium, large CAD files anymore. And we don't have to do it specifically for male or female. If we get insights and continuous feedback from our user, we can create personal fit prosthetics, sports equipment, braces, and well, casts as well. Even IDM performed footbeds. Well, that's correct. Um, we have some uh, something called intelligent footbeds. Um, basically, that's a um, ergonomic footbed that is built towards you um, that basically tracks uh, your biomechanical health. The three things that make it up are the footbeds, the uh, accompanying homes app, and also the personalized product. And so to talk a little bit about the footbeds, there's a modular electronics component which allows you to change out the electronics. Uh, between multiple pairs of footbeds, so you don't have to go buying a bunch of electronics just to be able to suit your entire shoe library. Um, and the, there's a proprietary sensor system which allows you to get image-grade medical data. The Holmes app is powered by the Cognitive Expert System, which combines some of the power of expert systems from the 80s and their ability to explain things, and uh, neural networks with their ability to be able to identify and categorize things. And then you can provide personalized products, which are completely data-fed, uh, so that as the user's data changes, the personalized products change. So currently, um, we have tested the footbeds and we make a, made a working prototype. We're actually working on the Cognitive Expert System right now for the Homes app that will predict and prevent the musculoskeletal injuries. So this is the team of magicians and alchemists making it happen. Um, how did Jumpstart CSR start? Do so it started when I was 17 and my uh, dad dragged me out to a bike fitting session uh, where I watched this long and arduous process unfold. Uh, so I got to see just this horrible mess of a process. Um, I thought, hey, I could do this better and uh, developed a bike saddle which worked to provide custom bike fitting information. From there, that technology was moved to the pedals for performance information, from the pedals to the foot, uh, to the bike shoes in order to be able to uh, have that performance information on the go, and then from the bike shoes just to any kind of shoe. And that's where we are with IDM Perform. Oh, that's very cool. So, Anatolia, how did you join Jumpstart CSR? I actually joined Jumpstart CSR because uh, I'm interested in uh, the Social Responsibility Act. Um, so, what's nice about this company is we're focusing on the economic, like, um, environmental issues, as well as making the human condition better and improving the product life cycle, which is a lot of things. Um, which I'm kind of proud of being a part of a company that does more good and not less bad. And so this is, these are the other people involved, um, the business advisory board as well as the medical advisory board, and they fill in the gaps that our small team cannot fill. Um, so actually, we're looking for team members who are interested. Um, and if you're interested in making magic, just call uh, the, our luminary, whose code is right there. Um, or you can contact us. 
um, if you want to join us in making the world a better place two feet at a time. Thank you. So what this system does is it would replace your current orthotics, um, but we're also working on a system that would overlay over your current orthotics in order to be able to provide the intelligence that you just don't get from current orthotics because you just don't know if they're working other than it doesn't hurt anymore or I think it doesn't hurt anymore or hey, I don't know if it's wearing out or what, but hey, you know, it's just kind of guess and check right now and that's just not good enough these days. Plus, if you ever wanted to change your orthotics because something didn't feel like feel great or it hurt you in some way, we can print one specifically to fix those problems like as well. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we provide both, both functionality, prediction and prevention. Um, so we're looking to be able to uh, identify early signs of uh, repetitive stress injuries, uh, motions that will cause you to get plantar fasciitis, as well as things that might not be so obvious, like maybe your shoe doesn't fit, but you can't really tell, um, or there's something that just doesn't quite mesh with your environment from a variety of factors. Any other questions? Anyone? Um, let's try someone on this side. Well, so the core focus is on musculoskeletal disorders, and as the sensors expand and we're looking at having expandable sensor systems, um, we can expand to other areas to be able to address other problems. Preferably, it's a full body system, so you can cover everything, but it's easiest to just start with the feet because you already have foot beds. All right, thank you very much.